Hello and a welcome. I am playing City Car Driving and I am, as you can see, in the Range Rover 2008. Um, this is basically a review on this. Um, I've never even played this game before, so it is actually new for me as well. Um, so, yeah, let's sit back, relax, and let's see if we can have a cushy cruise around the city without any problems. As you can see, this is the back seat of the uh, Range Rover 2008. Uh, the front of it looks very nice indeed. Looks very Range Rovery. Um, and I can imagine that, you know, we are going to be, for the next 10 15 minutes, we are going to be having. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a woman. Um, and picking up the kids. Because that's basically what peak Range Rovers are used for, to be honest with you. They are there to pick up kids. Um, you see a lot of them doing it. Um, so yes, we shall see how it gets on. Um, a lot of it, you know, you look at the Range Rovers, they're all down to uh, mums using them. And you know, one of the actual biggest things that they would always say, and you can guarantee it all the time, they turn around and say, yeah, but I feel safe. That's why you spent 60 grand on a car, to feel safe. Is that it? That's, that's, that's your main priority on why you bought a Range Rover. Shut up, God's sake. Range Rover, 60 grand, so you feel safer. Uh, so basically it's Chelsea Mums on the school one. That's basically what this vehicle is. This is what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be a school one. But we're obviously not going to go to school. So let's get going. Let's put this into drive and let's get going. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. There you go. Alright, turn that out. There it is. Let's go. Um, as I say, it's autumn day. Lovely autumn day, as you can see in front of you. We we test the speed of this Range Rover as well. Obviously, this is why you know Chelsea mums don't use this. Uh, this is why the ordinary mum feels safer because obviously, if you feel safer, you wouldn't be um, going over whatever the top speed that this vehicle can do. It's an old Vectra there, that's, that's quite an old. I can drive real life, I've got a licence. Um, van licence, lorry licence, uh, believe it or not. But we'll see how good this game is as well, as well as we drive this. So, as I say, this is a uh, 4 litre Range Rover Sport 2008. Um, very nice, a lot of money. Um, but you get the comfort and obviously the biggest thing that everyone always says is yeah I bought the car because I feel safer do you feel safer? Um, well probably you do you're up higher you can see more of the road um, that's why I like them I mean I am quite a fan of Range Rovers so I do like them as well um, not for your pocket you know they're not built for the um, economically world of it but they're nice you know they're, they're a nice Relaxing armchair sort of car, and that's basically what they are. Oh my fucking god! Got the old lady coming across here. Oh my god! Look at the state of it. No, that's not it. You should respect your elders. Come on, let's go. Obviously, you get some people. You see a lot of these cars in uh, London. I'm from the UK, so I base it on London. You see a lot of them in Knightsbridge. You know, all, all the posh twats. Um, I've got, I've got them. Um, yeah, posh tracks have got them going through Nice Bridge. You know, looking great. I feel like they've got loads of money. Look, I mean, a nice, great car, and so on. Um, and then they do the school one later on in the day. Bankers, you know, there would be loads of them. The person that drives a Range Rover, I would say, in my opinion, and I'll do this for all the cars. Um, is one big thing about Range Rovers. You'll probably see. I've never ever seen a Range Rover where it's got loads of people in it. You know, it's built for loads of people, but there isn't loads of people that go in it. What you normally find is that you have the one or two people in it. You never really see a load of people in it. I don't. I could be completely wrong there, but um, as far as I can see, no, you don't. But on every single time I review one of these one of these cars, um, God help us, a BMW's next. But Range Rover. The person that drives the Range Rover, I would imagine, personally, um, 
they shop in a high class shopping so you know you're looking at a, a waitrose um, I mean I could say a Marks and Spencer's but definitely a waitrose car this 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 car is definitely a waitrose car you wouldn't really see this car outside Nasta or Lidl just wouldn't happen you know if you've got 60 grand to spend on a car then you've certainly got more than enough money to um, shop somewhere nice right let's have a look at here let's see we are going left here this is a not a very nice roundabout I'm beating up my car because I just bought it right let's get into the middle of the lane here and there They're not racing cars, but they are sport. You know, the quicker you go, the quicker the, your, your pocket falls empty. Because that's basically what they are. They are, they are fuel guzzers. But they do look nice. You know, they're nice inside. They look good. They shift shit like a shovel. And, you know, that, that's, at the end of the day, that's why you buy them. That's why I'd want one. I can't afford one, but I would love one if I could. I'm no banker. I don't certainly shop at Waitrose, but... I would like one. Well, right, let's get on the motorway and we'll see how quick this actual goes. You know, if, I mean, if, if your information, if if you were looking to buy one, oh my god, the bus driver nearly hit him. Fuck me, he's walking like he shit himself. Um, if you want one, you know, they are 21, 22 inch wheels, and you know some of these weird facts that I'm going to give you now um, they cost you brand new one say Michelin cost you about 200 and something quid well 180 I think I've got them near my dealership where I am at the moment not dealership tyre place um, so yeah they're quite expensive so look while we're waiting for this Audi driver to move out of the way and it would have to be an Audi driver let's see if he moves BMW driver there, look, using an indicator. Now that's the first I've ever seen. Oh no, he didn't use it for that one. Thought it was too good to be true. C Come on, mate, what are you doing? Come on, emergency stop there, mate. That's very well done. I can see why you passed your test on the emergency stop. Give him some. I say the game looks pretty good, it's very realistic apparently, so um, what I was being told, let's just pop down, let's just lower this down a bit so you can actually see a little bit, I don't want to drive like a fucking midget, but it's nice to see a little bit of the ball, dashboard. Anyone now? No, I don't know why right here. I would actually get some fuel, see what the price is for fuel. I don't think this garage is built for this. Oh god, oh god. Route to destination point not plotted. Movement along the route interrupted. Oh well, yeah, the reason it's been interrupted is because I've stopped for fuel. How much is the same? Oh, I can't, I can't see how much that says. No, it's obviously shut. Coming out of here. So it's a nice summery day, there's a nice golf driver there, look. He is a GTI wannabe, that's what that is. A larder, why the fuck they're still around, I have no idea. Mercedes. What are we waiting on, right. Are you, are you going to let me go? Right. Because obviously I've got the Range Rover. Or I'm going to get the ladies, because again, I always think Range Rover people always think that they're going to get someone. I will let her go because I do like her legs to be precise. Go on, love. Oh, no, no. Oh, I need to get a motorway. Give this a blast. See the window bulbs, right? Oh, beautiful. There you go. Right. Now I don't 
No, go on the mount one. Well, no, this is just a normal pile, ain't it? I need a mount one, really. So it would make me wonder how fast this vehicle goes. Can't go that way. I think there's my way out there. What's a bummer? What an absolute bummer. I can't remember how to reverse the damn thing. Reverse, 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 reverse. Where's reverse? There is that button there. There. Cush D. Alright. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because it's not actually reversing. Pretty in reverse. There's a revving. Oh yes. Right, let's start that again. Let's lob that on um because I cocked it up a little bit there. Alright, oh, it's not gonna go because I've got to put it in neutral. There you go. What the heck? What? Apparently I'm taking it across country here. Now, there's another thing that I'm going to bring up on the Range Rover. It is meant to be. It was built for our side. Now they're built for the city. Makes you laugh. Right, we're going to test the speed of this. Let's so just go off the side. Because it is a cross country vehicle. Turning on a limited width. Hmm. Is this a ramp? That's the hill start. What matter me? Because I'm in an automatic. I'm going to be quick on that, see if we can actually make a big jump. Here we go. Oof! Oh, ho, ho, ho. some laughs on here. Oof. <laughs> oh no, look. Look at that. BMW driver. As an accident. I don't believe it. My God, mate. Your insurance. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be massive. Oh, there's the Range Rover, ladies and gentlemen. It's very... It's, it's not very good at... stopping. 
you know if I do anything it's shit at stuff and let's just move in but the only good thing about a Range Rover is if anything's in its way it will literally just plow it out of the way it will literally just get rid of it that's the only good thing about it well, let's go on this motorway let's test this flat out of this Range Rover see how quick it actually goes probably going the wrong way really for the motorway right here we go obviously we're going to have to wait for a bit of traffic and then we will go let's go let's do this right flat out here 135 the hardest thing is because it actually grips it's, it's a nightmare because it doesn't really grip that well I've been a bit quiet here because Poe's coming out. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna crash. Oh, god. what a chaotic accident that was. Right in the back of that van. Oh, and then the other car's just chunked onto it. And now they're, they're all going back. Must be reversing. I don't know, fuck me, they look like gangsters, don't they? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am absolutely stuck here. We have had a major accident. Major accident. Right. Reverse doesn't seem to be working on this. I must be doing something wrong here because it. I can get in to go in first and drive. We'll see at the moment, but it won't work. Well, it's fucked. Right, well, that was a Range Rover. I hope you've um, enjoyed the video and I shall see you soon. Thanks for watching and good night. Yeah.